former U.S. President Donald Trump called off his in-person appearance in the U.S. state of Iowa as a storm that brought plummeting temperatures and swathes of snow froze the final phase of campaigning. The situation for Republican caucuses seems to be grim. The weather continued to wreak havoc in Iowa just a day before the nominating process of the 2024 presidential candidates. The National Weather Office has warned against gusty chilling winds that may reach up to 89 kilometers per hour, causing whiteout conditions. It has also raised alerts against more snowfall and treacherous travel conditions. Monday's vote by the caucuses will be the first for the 2024 White House run. While the former president, Donald Trump, had vowed to make an appearance in Iowa, the weather conditions have stalled his plans. With contenders like Ron DeSantis and Nikki Haley eyeing at overtaking the former president, Iowa's Republican governor has promised a good caucus turnout on the day of the polls, despite the harsh weather. Looking ahead, as per forecasters, the storm will be followed by an Arctic breakout of uh, bitter cold. Wind chills in the period are expected to take a nosedive to minus 34 degrees Celsius. In fact, flights carrying thousands of reporters and political observers to Iowa were cancelled or rerouted because of the weather. And over 1,900 flights were cancelled across the country on Saturday. Meanwhile, Republican presidential frontrunner Donald Trump is leading the Iowa caucus support with 48 percent. This while the contender Nikki Haley is following up on a second mark with 20 percent votes in her favor. Also on Saturday, Donald Trump lashed out at his Republican rival Vivek Ramaswamy for the first time. The former president accused him of championing the deceitful campaign tricks. In response to the attack, the GOP's Vivek Ramaswamy signaled in a social media video that the quote-unquote system will keep former President Trump out of the White House. He also pitted Nikki Haley against Donald Trump, saying that the chances of her win may be higher. This while he went on to call Nikki Haley a puppet. While the former President Trump has publicly criticized his contenders, he was known to praise Vivek Ramaswamy. In Saturday's campaign, before the weather warnings, contender Ron DeSantis asserted himself as the only genuine candidate to be concerned about the public. Speaking to a packed room of supporters, DeSantis undervalued the campaigns and intentions of the rivals, Donald Trump and Nikki Haley. Take a listen. Donald Trump is running for his issues. Haley's running for the donors' issues. I'm running for your issues, your family's issues, and solely to turn this country around. No one else running except me has delivered on 100 percent of their promises. Contender and former United Nations ambassador Nikki Haley was also out in the freezing conditions. She made a campaign stop in Iowa, vowing military aid to Ukraine and support to Israel in its war against Hamas. She also promised to crack down on the migrant crisis and to seal the borders if brought to the White House. She also took uh, to the Republican Donald Trump's competency as the president saying, and I'm quoting here, chaos follows him. Your mortgage payment, your insurance payments, the things that we need are so much more expensive. Another hard truth. I think President Trump was the right president at the right time. I agree with a lot of his policies, but rightly or wrongly, chaos follows him. You know I'm right. Chaos follows him. And we can't have a country in disarray and a world on fire and go through four more years of chaos. We won't survive it. You don't defeat Democrat chaos with Republican chaos.